been like a mid-season break, uh, enforced. Um, and effectively, uh, the lads have had 10 to 12 days completely off their feet. He said uh, the, uh, the, the amount of players we had infected, um, they weren't even allowed to leave their house. So um, they're at a different level of fitness to what they were prior. Uh, the lads who didn't get it, obviously they could do a bit more and um, they were. We were monitoring and we was uh, making sure they were doing what they needed to do. So, um, but look, that's just the facts of where it is. We don't need, to, we can't worry about it. If we start worrying about it, then then it becomes a bigger problem than it is. We just need to get on with it, do our job. And we're trying to tick as many boxes as we can yesterday and today. Um, so we can prepare ourselves in the best uh, possible way we can. And then uh, tomorrow we will solely focus on, on Bournemouth and how we, and how we want to beat Bournemouth. And um, um, yeah. And then, the rest takes care of itself. Their fitness levels, their their um, uh, if there's any ill effects off of off of the back of um, COVID, then that's when we'll find out. Um, the protocols that have been put in place now is that we have to play three days uh, after you've come out of isolation, re regardless, as long as you have no uh, reactions. So um, Bournemouth will be our fourth day. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we get on. We managed to keep up with as much fitness as possible. So, yeah, I think you're right. It's, we're not going to lose anything in terms of that bolt fitness. It's obviously that little bit of sharpness. And, um, yeah, and, and, you know, with the fixtures we've got coming up, especially these next two, we need to be a kind of on top of our game and make sure we've got that kind of running power that we're going to need against against two quality sides. As I said, they travel really well. They're travelling their numbers. And uh, I suppose, thankfully, they've still got the ability to do that. And um, um, it will be... Uh, I'm sure it'll put a smile on everyone's face when we walk out on Thursday evening and um, we see all our fans sitting there, standing there, clapping. And uh, um, yeah, I so said the lads will love it and I'm sure the fans will. And let's hope we can put on a performance um, to match it. Um, they've done really well this year. Um, I think they're really good at our place. So we, we know, you know, without even talking about Bournemouth, we know how tough the championship is anyway. But they're definitely the cream of the crop at the minute and, and top of the league for a reason. So under no illusions, but, you know, I think we, you know, last two games, I think we were kind of unlucky, you know, circumstances, Sheffield United, a game that I thought we were well in and performing really well and uh, a red card changed game and, and, and Birmingham was a game that I thought we were on top of, but defensively to concede the two goals and it, it kind of changed the complex of the game and, you know, in the end, we got a good point, but it's still a game that we're disappointed with. So, in terms of our results of late, I think we think we've been unlucky in terms of the points returned, and in, in in regards to the performances, I felt like we probably deserve to be climbing up the table a little bit more. So, as we've said for a long while now, it's, it's down to us now as a collective, as a group, players, staff, everyone. To it's a collective effort for us to start climbing the table now and. Um, fixtures come thick and fast, and obviously with the two games postponed, it, it, it's going to be even going to have a, an even bigger bulk of games now. But um, we definitely got the quality to to withstand that, and like I said, hopefully go on a run. Um, we know these games are going to be tough, but they all are in, in, in the in the championship. And you know, I think like we should be going in with a bit of confidence ourselves to go and deliver a, at least a performance, and then the result will take care of that. I think we're pretty dangerous to anyone. We just need to make sure we carry out the jobs jobs correctly and to the best of our ability and uh, um, we've got some fantastic players who will who can hurt anyone on their day and um, yeah we'll uh, we'll have a plan to beat Bournemouth and uh, um, hopefully it works.